Hey everyone, it's Graphic back with another video, and today we're going to showcase the merchant skill and kind of a little bit of a guide on how to actually get fast XP with, with the merchant skill unlock. So you do have to have the final episode unlocked, which is Chronopolis, um, and with this you'll have merchant the profession unlocked and with that as well you're going to have guild contracts the first thing you're always going to want to do is go to the guild bounty board for the most xp so we're going to actually show what that looks like here in the top right this is where you see your bounties it's what you do with the bounty board with the chef profession as well but you can see here i have three of the exact same and that's going to be very very beneficial it's going to be the exact same route and i get to turn three bounties in so you want to try to get all of the exact same or in the same area at the very least. So let's go up here to the bounty board, see if we can replace any before we get started. So here's what the bounty board looks like in Chronopolis. Um, and you can see right now, I don't have that many available to me, so it's not hard to get many of the exact same. So right now I have four of the carrots to the toy staff, or sorry, toy stall. And then we have one soap and one rib. The soap pays out 200 XP more. So what I'm gonna do in this scenario is actually drop the rib. We're gonna abandon that one and we're gonna pick up this soap. And so now we actually have two soaps and four carrot bounties. So we're gonna do these real quickly and see how much XP we get. It's a very, very good thing to actually run by this every once in a while. And the nicest part about this is the Chronopolis Market Portal Stone is so close to this bounty board. So it's easy to teleport back turn things in and it's also uh or not turn things in because you actually don't have to turn things in but it's easy to teleport back and get more bounties or at least check in on bounties every once in a while one thing i should actually also mention is if we run back up here to the bounty board i want to showcase how often it refreshes so if we go back to the bounty board here you can see that uh, we are going to get a refresh in 10 seconds so we'll wait 10 seconds and give you an exact timer on how long it takes uh before these refresh again and we might get lucky for all we know and get more carrot stalls, or I call them carrot stalls, but they're toy stalls. So yeah, we actually got more carrots if we wanted them, um, but I'm not even going to because we're going to do the soaps either way. So this is exactly what you're going to want to do is grab a bunch of the same and continue on your way. So actually, I didn't even check. Did you? I know the whole point was going up to this bounty board was to check the, uh, the refresh timer. Let's check it out. So the refresh timer seems to be just a minute and like 30 seconds now, so probably two minutes refreshing every two minutes is crazy it's actually worthwhile probably to stand there for a little while and get a couple of the same if you're you know doing something around the house just stand there and refresh it every once in a while or watch it refresh every once in a while and uh, click some of the same so the first thing i kind of want to showcase is on how to actually find out where these are is one you can leave your map up it's going to be very easy to navigate around if you leave your map up full screen here on the left side um and you can actually zoom in and out with your scroll wheel, of course. But the biggest thing is to look at the bounties. And it shows that uh, we are going to need green grocers to the toy stall. So the first thing we're going to see here is green groceries. We're going to actually have to... I know I'm calling them groceries. I understand, guys. But uh, we're going to go from the green groceries to the toy stall. So you can actually see that this is very easy to find if you pull this left side out all of the way. Um, and you can actually look around for this very easily because you're looking for merchant symbols with the trade symbol on the right side. So you are not looking for this blue. This is a passive uh, way of training. We're not going to be paying attention to that at all. And we also don't care about these stalls right now because we're looking for the green groceries. So first thing we're going to see here, I understand there's no eye before you guys continue on with this joke. But here you see the green grocers um, or the green groceries is what I've been calling it. And um that's what we're going to have to head to first because that is where our carrots are going to be. We also have the soap stall. So where's the soap, spall, soap stall? That is up here with the soap shop. Makes sense. So those are the two places we're going to run to real quick. We'll run to those spots real quick and then uh, we'll go from there. Okay, so we did make it to the uh, grocery guy now, and from here, we're actually going to go to the trade menu, and this is where you're going to actually buy all these up. I'm going to buy 24 of them because I have four different bounties for six carrots. Actually works out great for one perfect run. Uh, one thing I definitely suggest is to make sure you have a backpack empty when you're doing this, um, because if you don't have a backpack empty, it's going to be a rough situation on... Uh, you know, what should I do with all this stuff in my backpack when you're picking up all these carrots? So, uh, thankfully we do know where we're going next. We're going to the toy stall. And if you want to find this, it actually shows on the map. If you click on your bounty for this part. So down here is my toy stall because of that, it's actually going to be best if I go the back route through the back of the groceries here or the grocery, uh, area. 
So let's go back here and let's take this back route and let's get down there. Okay, so now that we made it over here, we are one room away from the toy stall. We're gonna head right into here and click on the toy stall trade button. And just like that, you're gonna wanna make sure you each individually click one, make sure she says thanks and gives you the XP. Don't walk away with some extras in your uh, inventory or it's gonna be an unfortunate walk back. But you can see we're getting a ton of XP for this, 658 plus a lot of gold. It's a, a very lucrative profession if you are very quick about knowing exactly where to go, the best routes, and how to avoid running into hostile um, hostile mobs and monsters. And there we go. Just a lot of levels right there. One of the easiest things you could ever do um, in the game. So now we've unlocked the beef joint, which gives us actually more XP. Unfortunately, when you get more and more, you're going to get less chances to actually stack some of these bounties. So it's more is unfortunately a little bit less in some, some cases. But from here, the next thing you could do is actually continue your way back to the castle or the merchant's guild because you're going to want to try to get four of the exact same bounty that's going to be the secret to really leveling quickly so let's do exactly that and see if we can get lucky and for those of you who don't know actually uh, i do want to kind of quickly mention this if you go to the merchant uh, profession here you can scroll down you can see that you actually get discounts at these stalls so hide stall discount at level 10 uh, you get a hide stall discount at level 14 for basic deer and it keeps going on and on and on and you continue to get like I said discounts on these stalls. So if we go all the way to the very very bottom you're going to see that you get a hide stall discount with the perfect tail beast which is obviously going to be very beneficial to you late game if you are looking to buy some of these hides and uh, either resell them or even just use them in the leatherworking profession. It's going to be very very beneficial for some of you so I just want to kind of point that out real quick. Okay, so we run up the stairs to the top here, and we check the bounty board and see what is available for us. We're hoping for some soaps, and we get one soap, so it'll still be a good run. We'll take that soap, and it's always good to take just fill up your entire board and see if you can get lucky with what's coming next. So we're going to take, uh, I don't know, let's just take some ribs here, and let's take some carrots, and let's take some meat wraps. We'll just fill it up completely, like I said, so that when we come back, we can hopefully match some of those with some of the ones we have. All right, from here, now we would be running to the soap stall, which I actually pointed out earlier, which is here in the top left at the soap shop. And then you'd bring it to the butcher stall. If you show that on the map, you can see that here is uh, not really that long of a run at all. This is a pretty good run for us. So we'll do that here in just a minute. But uh, I do want to say that's pretty much all that comes with the Merchant's Guild is you're going to want to try to get four of the exact same bounty. You're going to want to make sure you have your backpack open. You're going to want to make sure you have your map full screen, basically, so you can know where you're going at all times and then utilize the teleport back to the bounty board as quickly as possible or as much as possible. Um, but yeah, I always wait to start doing this profession until I actually have four of exactly one bounty so I can begin with a boom. So thanks again, guys, for tuning in. Make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn notifications on if you want to hear more about Brighter Shores and see new and more guides. So thanks again. I'll see you all in the next one.